Hello and welcome to the finale of our Aliens vs. Adams. Um, we are playing Aliens Under the Glorious Day in the Corpse. You're here on Die Rolling. I'm the ever excitable Adam. And we're going to be doing the finale mission of Aliens Get Away From You Bitch. Ultimate Badasses, Hazards and Terrain Expansion Pack. All the expansions just chucked in. Um, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to finally beating the Queen using the power loader, which is such an iconic thing from the film. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing how the rules and the mechanics work with that. Um, and overall, looking forward to trying not to get sucked into space as well. So let's get to the table and see if I manage to beat the queen. So I have set up mission five, Sulaco. Um, and we made it guys. This is um, the very last level in the aliens get away from her, you bitch expansion. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to get rid of this pesky alien queen who's uh, on board our spaceship. So we thought we'd escaped, but no, she's turned up. And unfortunately, she's just um, ripped in half the little android guy here, Bishop. And you got a nice little Bishop <laughs> half a mini here, which is uh, which is quite fun. Um, and yeah, we've the only way to kill the alien queen is to get her out of the airlock. And you'll notice down here, we've got some tiles here. So we've got like an outer door, which we need to open. Uh, sorry, an inner door, which we need to open. And then we need to get the queen kind of like over here. And then we need to open up this outer door. And anyone who's on this outer door is basically sucked down to space. Uh, so once we've killed her and we've killed any other aliens that remain on the board, then uh, we've done it. Um, while she's about, aliens will keep spawning at the end of every round. So we need to get rid of her. And then we need to um, yeah, get rid of any aliens that are left. You'll also notice we've got a cool power loader as well over here. And uh, like always, uh, all the Ripley miniatures that I painted look like uh, Bill Clinton. So uh, we've got Bill Clinton in his power loader here. Uh, really nice miniatures. Um, yeah, not much to say really, just looks really cool. So I'm happy about that. But the only thing is you, there's somebody in here, but you've just got to imagine there's nobody in there until we've actually opened it up. Um, so how do we open these airlock controls, you wonder? Well, there's some airlock controls. The uh, airlock controls are just here. And you basically have to do a tech test to open this up. So one tech test to open up this door and another tech test to open up this door. Um, obviously, if you're standing right there and you're doing a tech test, it's probably not a good idea because you're literally right next to the uh, vacuum of space there. Um, and every time, every uh, alien turn, if this is open, everyone's going to have to roll uh, on their dice to basically stop themselves being sucked out into the void. Uh, if we get someone into the power loader, the power loader's got a, a set of cool rules in here. So we're able to basically do melee attacks with the power loader, which kills any aliens it, it hits. And if we hit the alien queen, we get to move her two spaces in any direction. Um, if anyone's seen aliens, which I'm sure if you're watching these films, uh, these videos, you probably have. Uh, if you've anyone seen this, you know that the very last scene in the film, uh, the very last battle is between just Ripley and Newt and half her bishop. This time around though, we have managed to save quite a lot of Marines. In fact, there's only, I think we've only got three Marines who are dead. Um, so we've got uh, Vasquez here with her smart gun and Drake with his smart gun. I mean, Drake isn't the best shot, but at least he's he's kind of tooled up there. Uh, we've got Wisbowski, we've got Gorman, and we've got Frost at the back here. Newt, of course, is still around here. Uh, at the start of this level, I got to choose whether I was going to do uh, Enraged Ripley, which, uh, if you've seen the previous video of this, she is uh, she gets to do three actions a turn instead of two, but you have to exhaust five cards every every turn with her. So you are getting through that deck pretty quick. Um, so I, I got to decide whether to keep Enraged Ripley in this or to actually go for regular Ripley. I chose Enraged Ripley just because I think having an extra action a turn will help out. And as long as I can keep using Newt to um, to refresh the cards, to rest the cards, then I think we'll uh, we'll be able to manage Ripley's uh, endurance issues uh, pretty well. Uh, one thing to note as well, so the Ultimate Badass's expansion adds in the uh, these kind of experience cards. And between each mission, you are allowed to add a new experience card. Now, I'm honest, if I was playing this game without these experience cards, I would have really struggled in some of these levels. Um, I mean, I've got to a point now where Vasquez is pretty much untouchable. Uh, she can, her aim is always very high. And every time she's defending, she gets to increase that, that aim as well. So 
I think if I hadn't had that, I probably would have just barely got through this um, and would have ended up with a lot less kind of Marines making it through. And um, I've decided not to actually give anyone experience cards for this particular level, because honestly, I feel bad for the Alien Queen. Maybe I'll change my tune when I play this, but um, I feel pretty bad for her because at the moment we've got two Marines with smart guns. We've got four other characters on the board who can attack her. Um, so yeah, I just I just kind of feel that, yeah, it's, it's pretty pretty crappy for the Alien Queen. And I, I feel like we've nerfed her a little bit by, by kind of doing this. Um, so, as always, I'm going to give you a quick, brief look at all the characters we're going to be playing with today and what their loadout currently is, uh, including anything to do with their, um, their kind of experience cards, which they've got, and any equipment they've got. Um, and also, who, who's going to actually be the heroes and who are going to be just the grunts. So, uh, here we go. Let's take a quick look. So straight away, we've got an Rage Ripley up here. Like I say, um, on activation, we exhaust five endurance cards and take three actions this activation. And as a passive, she may equip an M240 flamethrower as a backup weapon, which she has done. And she's got a M41A pulse rifle as a main weapon. She's got body armor and a helmet. So I've doubled up on her defense there. Probably should have given Newt some armor, but never mind. Um, so she's got a ton of heroic abilities here. So um, let's start with True Hero at the bottom here. So after firing an M41A pulse rifle, this character might also fire a backup weapon as a free action. Um, and the backup weapon is, of course, this flamethrower. So she's going to be able to attack with a pulse rifle and then the flamethrower, which is pretty handy. Second win, this character gains minus one to defense rolls. And if an alien is killed by a melee attack made by this character or another character within four spaces recycle three cards now it does say two spaces but this heroics card at the top here um this character gains plus one speed and you replace all that within two spacer requirements within uh, with within four spaces so um yeah so yeah basically she's got a much better range with her abilities there she's got got your back other characters within two spaces of this character gain minus one to the defense rolls but of course that's uh four and uh, this character may re-roll any defense roll they make, keeping the second result. I must remember that because I think I've forgotten that several times. And she's also got get some rest. So when this character or another character within four spaces takes a rest action, they may recycle an additional card. And that's going to come in very handy because we're going to need that because Ripley is going to be burning through this endurance deck. Okay, so we're going to Wiz Bowskis, our first grunt here. Not much to say here really apart from he's got a pulse rifle, a helmet, a flare, and some great. Flares are always handy to have out here because some of these motion tracker cards um, tell you to discard a flare, otherwise something bad will happen. Um, and also we can mess around with a motion tracker deck as well with that, so that's pretty handy. Our next hero is Gorman, everyone's favourite asshole. Uh, so during activation he can recycle three cards from his hand to let another marine character take an action. And at the end of activation he draws two endurance cards. He's got a pulse rifle, he's got grenades... He's got body armor and a medical scanner, which allows him to stand up a knocked down character. Now, it doesn't say that you have to be next to a character to do this. So I'm playing that he could be anywhere to do this. You'll notice a ton of alien egg uh, kind of tokens here. And that's because a lot of his abilities are uh, on activation. So I've put them there to remind me to do this. So um, if you've seen the previous videos and you know, Apone was my character who had all these tactician, tracker and support abilities, but unfortunately, Apone's now dead. So Gorman has taken up the mantle here. So he, on, uh, on activation, he draws an endurance card at the beginning of his activation. And whenever he draws a hazard card that we place on his character, he may exhaust three cards from his hand to shuffle it back into the endurance deck. Inspire tactics as an action, he can reveal a card and that gives him some abilities there. Support, give and take. At the start of your activation, you may recycle a number of cards equal to the amount of endurance cards you have in your hand. At the end of your activation, you may recycle two or more cards in activation. You may draw two endurance cards. Quick rest. At the start of your activation, recycle a card. Then you may draw a card and eyes on the ball. At the start of the marine phase, you may look at the top four motion tracker cards and return the cards to the motion tracker deck in any order. I must remember to do that. Um, and get moving. He can exhaust up to three cards from his hand to move another character up to that many spaces. So that's Gorman. We're going to go Frost, um, another grunt here. So he's got a pulse rifle, he's got grenades, he's got body armor and a Hadless Hope map, which allows us to um, cancel a motion tracker card that has just been drawn if we don't like it. 
And our last hero is Vasquez. Uh, she's got a smart gun, of course. She's got body armor, a shoulder lamp, and she's got all these really cool abilities. So, um, this character exhausts one less card when making attacks during the marine phase and also during the alien phase. So, with a smart gun, you're supposed to be um, exhausting three cards, but um, those abilities mean she's only exhausting two. And because she's only supposed to exhaust two cards instead of three each time you fire an M56 smart gun, she's actually only using one card to fire that gun, so it's very overpowered. She's got Sharpshooter, so if she kills three or more aliens during an attack action, she can take a free aim action. She has Covering Fire before firing defensive fire, this character may take a free aim action. She's a born killer, so at the start of the alien phase, she resets her aim dial, and she can also look at... Um, any blips which are face down. And as an action, she can exhaust three cards to exchange one blip with a random unused blip or another blip in play. However, I don't think we're gonna be using that because if you have a look at the board, when the motion, uh, when the blips come on, we're gonna be able to see them straight away. So the blips isn't really gonna help us this time around. And then finally we have Drake. Drake has got uh, an M56 smart gun as well. He only exhausts two cards when he's using it. Um, unfortunately, he's um, not very good with his aim. He's got body armor and an arc welder, which helps him barricade a door within one space of his character. We also have Bishop. Um, now, Bishop is not really going to be doing anything. Um, he, on his activation, he starts to finish phase, reveal a card, so he'll be doing that. But generally, uh, Bishop is basically AI at this point, and he's going to be spending his action to move one space closer towards the control panel. And when he gets to that, he's going to be trying to activate it. And then we have Newt. Um, when Newt takes a rest action, she can recycle an additional card. And she can exhaust two cards to move a character with a line of sight two spaces towards her. And she also has a bypass here. Uh, but do you know what? There's no computers on this, um, on this level, so that's a pretty useless card I've equipped her with. Well done there, Adam. And that's, that's the lot, guys. Um, we're going to be starting this and seeing if we can beat the Alien Queen... But I'm not sure if I'll do it. We shall see. Okay, so I've just reset everyone to back where they should be. I put the uh, outer and the inner airlock doors just over here. And I've also uh, put a computer token on where the airlock controls should be, just so that you guys at home have an idea of how close I am to actually activating that thing. Okay, so without further ado, we have to choose who our start player is going to be. And um, we're going to start off with Vasquez. So... On activation, we have to reveal a card for Vasquez, and we found an equipment card, so she can uh, recycle a card and then draw a card, but we don't have anything to recycle, so that just goes into our exhaust deck. And Vasquez is just going to start off by shooting, because there's a big alien queen up there. So with the smart gun, it's only costing her one card to do this. Her aim is currently eight, and we're rolling two dice, and we're taking the lowest number from these two dice. And we've got a four, so it's under eight, so we've managed to do one damage to the Alien Queen. Now, the Alien Queen, just to remind you, in case you haven't seen that previous video, or if you've been to sleep since we did that one, um, which you probably would have been by this point, uh, she will basically keep attacking um, unless she has six damage on her. If she has six damage on her, she has to skip her go, and then when she's activated, she just gets rid of all that damage, because the only way you can actually kill this Alien Queen is by blowing her out of the goddamn air hatch. Um, so, we just got to keep weakening this lady down. Um, Vasquez is going for another one. She's doing full auto, so she can keep attacking as long as we've got things to do it with. She needs under seven. She got three and a five, so that's another damage on the Alien Queen. Vasquez needs to, to get six or less now. We're exhausting another card. And we got two sixes, so we've managed to do that. That's another damage on there. I kind of feel like if Ripley had had a smart gun on the... Uh, on the silico, this it would have been a lot easier for her. Uh, exhausting another card, and she's going to try and get five or less now. And we miss on that one, so it was ten out of six. Okay, so is there anything else we could do there? There's not really anything else I want to do with that. There's no point um, aiming at this point because um, she's just going to get that. Her aim is going to reset at the start of the alien turn. So. Um, I mean, do you know what? I'm just going to try and shoot again. I'll need four or less to do this, but let's just see if she can do it. Nope, she misses. And that's the end of her activation. So we're now moving on to the next person we're going to activate is going to be Drake. 
who also has a smart gun, he's going to be using two cards when he's using it. So he's exhausting two cards. His aim is currently five, which is not great. Oh, we got a three. So we've currently done four damage to the alien queen, um, which is a really good start. Um, we're now going to exhaust another card. He's going full auto. We need four or less to be able to hit her. And we got a star, which means we've done it. That's another hit. So she's got five damage on her now. One more damage, and the alien queen is going to be stunned. Um, I don't think Drake has got the ability to do this. So actually, I'm going to start moving Drake away. So Drake is going to move four spaces. He's backing up there. Now, what we're going to try to do is try to lure the queen this way, I guess. Uh, but if we damage her, I guess we're just going to move her anyway. I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens. Uh, so that's Vasquez done. She's activated. She's then activated a grunt. So we're going to go to Ripley now. Ripley is going to discard five cards because she's enraged that this alien queen is on board of this ship. Um, she's got three actions to uh, spend here. So it kind of makes sense for me to get straight into this power loader. So she's got speed of six. So one, two, three, four. So she's right next to there. And now we get to go into here using interact actions. So getting rid of Ripley. And just want to show you something now because I think this is quite a, a cool little feature. So we have her card here. And you've got this little overlay you're supposed to put over there. So uh, this is her now in her power loader. And uh, she no longer is able to use any of her equipment or weapons or anything. Uh, but she is now a total badass in this, uh, in this thing here. So she gets to move though. And her speed is only three. So let's move her. One, two, three. So she's coming out. Okay, uh, we're going to activate Newt next because it kind of makes sense that Newt would be the uh, the person who would go after this. And Newt is, with, is within four spaces, so she gets to do... We're going to do one rest action, so we're going to recycle those five cards that Ripley um, burnt through. And then we're going to get Newt the hell out of here because she can't do anything. She's essentially uh, just... Alien food at this point. So we're going to move her one, two, three, four. So she's back there. And I think she might have a speed of five. She does have a speed of five. So she's going to move behind Drake. Drake is valiantly protecting her there. Okay, on to Gorman now. Um, so we've got a three cards we have to draw. No, two cards we have to draw for him. So uh, the first card we reveal is he's got a uh, pistol which is pretty good as a backup weapon. And the second card, of course, is a hazard and it's Blinding Rage. Place this card on your character exhaust. Uh, each time your character activates, exhaust two cards. At the end of your, act your character's activation, if you do not attack an alien this turn, discard three cards and he gains minus one on all his attack rolls. <sighs> Never mind. Okay, so Gorman has got to attack this alien this turn. Um, and he's got his pulse rifle. So he's got an aim of five. Which isn't terrible. Um, so he needs five or less to do this. We've exhausted the card for it. He got a four. Okay, well, this is great. It basically means the alien queen has taken enough damage that she is not going to... Um, yeah, she's, she's basically not going to uh, activate this round. She's just going to stay where she is. Uh, and Gorman, because he attacks somebody... He doesn't have to discard any cards, so that's pretty handy. Uh, now, he's got one card in his hand at the moment, so we get to recycle a card. And we also get to recycle a card because it's quick, quick rest action. So that's another two cards recycled. Um, I'm just wondering what to do with him. He has a high tech. So Palmy thinks we should probably get him over towards this airlock control. Um, so he's going to go one, two, three, and he's going to wait there. Okay, so uh, Gorman gets to activate three different characters on this because he is a uh, lieutenant. Uh, but at the end of his activation, we do have to exhaust two cards, which I'm going to do right now. So he's going to activate Bishop. Bishop only moves one space because he's slowly lurching towards uh, this 
control panel here. Um, Wisbowski is going to back up and aim, I guess. Actually, he's going to do two aims because his aim is only five. Oh, actually, think about it. There's no point. Nothing's going to attack in this round, hopefully. So he's actually just going to do two rest actions. So that's recycling six cards in total. And Frost is going to do exactly the same. He's going to rest... Well, actually, there's only four cards left in our exhaust pile. So he's going to rest once, and then he's going to do an aim, just in case we do have to worry about any enemies coming through. So we have activated everybody on here. So let's see what happens on the alien turn. So the queen removes her six damage. So that's gone. She's healed back up. And now it's on to the motion tracker phase. Um, so... Straight away, we're going straight into the motion tracker. There's no, oh, you have to wait till later. So we're going to be having a ton of enemies come out now. So the first card, and this is for um, Vasquez, because she, she did first. So alien drones, we place one at one. I'll move back a bit so you can see all of the uh, areas there. So players must either discard one barricade in play or place a second blip at spawn point one. Well, we're going to have to do that. Uh, unfortunately, there's not enough room to place any more aliens. So if we get any at two, um, we're not going to be able to place them down on the board. So that kind of works out well for me. But uh, So the next person to activate was Ripley. So let's draw a card for her. Queen's Aura. If a character is in line of sight of the alien queen, reveal a card, which it is. So let's place this one at three first. And then we are going to have a quick look at which card we get. Reveal a card is a weapon card. So we have to discard a card for doing that. And, oh, that was good. We discarded the Game Over Man card. And we placed one at three. And then the final one we have to do in this for Gorman is an Alien Vanguard. So placing one at two, which we can't currently do it to because it's blocked. And we reveal a card. And it's a weapon card. Uh, place another blip at spawn point three, which... Um, we can, we can put another one in here because there's, there's room. Okay, I'm gonna reveal what these blips are now uh, because they are in line of sight. Okay, so this is where it gets really fiddly. Uh, when you're placing aliens on and there's tokens, uh, one of the main issues I have with this game is this, how you track all the aliens is ridiculous. Um, like, I know some people use dice, which is probably a good idea when you're playing this. Okay. Okay. So, we are on to turn two. Uh, and it's looking pretty uh, pretty scary out there. There's lots of aliens. Um, so, let's see what happens. Okay, just... I'm just going to backtrack a little bit. Um, so... Gorman could have got onto this space last turn, so I'm actually going to place him on here because he has to be on this space uh, to be able to use the airlock control. So I'm just going to do that now. Um, so, yeah, I'm not cheating here. He would have been there. I just couldn't physically put him on here because this, this was there. I thought he had to be adjacent, but he didn't. So he's on the airlock controls. We're going to activate him to begin with. And I did forget that at the end of his activation, we're supposed to draw two endurance cards. So I'm just going to draw those two endurance cards now. So he's got a combat knife and an Ithaca 37 shotgun. Uh, so he's got three cards there. And we're going to get him to try and do a tech test. So it's going to cost... Um, well, we need to get six or less to do this. We've got a two. So we have opened the um, those there, which is pretty handy. Uh, and we're going to do another one. And this is probably going to be the end of Gorman. But I think... Yeah, well, why not? Oh, he failed his tech test because there's some aliens right nearby. Now, I should have exhausted two cards at the very beginning of that because uh, he's in a blinding rage. Uh, and then because we didn't attack any aliens, I forgot about this. We have to discard three cards. So we're discarding the jury rigged interface. We're discarding, I feel safer already. And we're also discarding some M40 grenades. Um, okay, so he is going to activate uh, Bishop. So Bishop is going to move down one. He's then going to activate... Um, Wisbowski. Wisbowski is just going to aim twice. So he's now got an aim of seven because we're going to need all this firepower in a minute. He's then going to activate Frost to also do um, an aim of two. So Frost is now on at seven. They're just getting ready for this. 
Uh, and then we have to draw two cards for Gorman. And there was a ton of stuff I should have done as well. So he should have actually recycled a couple of cards at the start of his turn. And I also should have drawn two cards to have a look at them. So he should have drawn one card and he should have drawn an additional card. So he's actually got a ton of cards in his hand now. Um, perfect. Okay, so um, we're now going to activate uh, Vasquez to reveal a card. It's an event, so she gets to uh, recycle a card and draw a card. So we're going to do that. And uh, she's drawn an event. And we can reveal a card. But I'm just going to hold on to that for the moment. Okay, so uh, Vasquez is going to start shooting some people. So she's going to start shooting the alien queen. Still got line of sight. It's going to cost us one to do this. She needs to get eight or less. And she got a seven, so that's one damage. She's going full auto. She's going for it again. Yep, she's done it again. She did seven or less, and she got a four. Now she needs a six or less. And she's got a star and a two. Oh, these guys falling all over the place. Like a barrel of monkeys with their tails. Uh, so that's an additional damage to the alien queen. So she's now taken three damage so far. Vasquez. It's going again. We need five or less. Did it. So she's now on four damage to this alien queen. Really feeling the burn now. Uh, now we need four or less to do it. We're going full auto on this. Vasquez is just... You know what? We've got a star and a two, so that's an additional damage. She's got five damage on her at the moment. One more and she will not be able to activate. Um, and you know what? It's worth it. Let's just try. Let's go for it, Vasquez. So she's doing one last attack. She needs a three or less to be able to hit. I don't think this will happen. She did it. Honestly, I can't believe that she managed to do that. That is ridiculous. So she's done... Um, Six damage on the queen, so the queen's not going to be budging anywhere. Um, and then for her next action, she's going to do a rest. So uh, she gets to recycle three cards. Which is nice. We've got a, like a decent amount of cards which uh, we're recycling here. Uh, and she's going to activate... Drake next, and Drake is just going to aim twice, so he's got aim of seven now because he's going to need it. Uh, we now activate Ripley, so she's going to be discarding, or sorry, exhausting five cards because she's enraged. Um, she's going to start straight away by recycling four of those. And then she's going to move up. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And Newt is going to do some recycling. So she just recycles the last of the cards we've got, um, which is perfect. So I'm going to shuffle the endurance deck now because that's all of our cards gone from it. And we're on to Alien's turn. So the Alien Queen first, so she uh, gets rid of these uh, kind of acid wounds. We also have to move uh, Vasquez's aim back up to eight. Um, so I'm going to start with this Alien. So they're going to be moving six towards the closest character, but they ignore androids. So uh, one, two, three, four. Um, one, sorry, one, two, three, four. Oh, well, actually, they have to stop next to Bishop because he's a character. So I guess, let's see, let's try and figure out the quickest way to get to Vasquez. Um, so Queen's there. So um, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, they're basically both over here where Ripley is. Come for Ripley. These guys straight for Gorman. And Gorman, unfortunately, is in a position where no one can really help him. Uh, so this guy there, and then these four aliens. 
just here. Now, I would say that um, Vasquez does have line of sight on these aliens. So we'll start off down here first, and Vasquez is going to go first. She gets to do an aim action uh, before she does anything, so she has an aim of nine. She's going to discard one card, sorry, exhaust one card even. Roll two dice. She's got a four, so yeah, she's taken out one of these guys. Uh, she can exhaust another card. She needs eight or less now. Yep. Exhaust the card. She needs seven or less now. Yeah, she got a seven. Because she killed three in a row, she gets to do an aim action, so she needs a seven again. Then she got a five and a ten. So yeah, she's taken out that alien there. This is all on Gorman though. There's nothing she can do about that. So um, this alien attacks. Gorman has got a pulse rifle, so he's discarding. He's exhausting one card to shoot it. He got a seven, which is above his aim, so he misses. So now we have to see whether he can uh, defend against this. So he has got a defense of four. He got a ten. Now, unfortunately for me, um, if you want a 10 on a defense roll, that's it. You're dead. And I don't actually have any um, anything to help with that. However, I do have this armor, so I can probably use my, my body armor to re-roll that. So I have to reveal a card, and if it's a weapon card or a hazard card, then Gorman's dead. Yep. So Gorman is dead. He is toast. Um teeth straight through the head there okay so um rest in peace gorman you always were an asshole gorman okay so up here we've got alien number one and alien number two attacking and uh we're gonna go this guy's gonna go against um frost so frost gets to do defensive fire he's got aim of seven he got a five so he's taken out that alien no problem uh, this alien is attacking Ripley, so we're going to have um, Drake do a attack on this. Uh, he's got an aim of seven at the moment, so we're rolling two dice. We've exhausted two cards. And yep, yeah, we've taken up one of these guys, and it's full auto, so we can keep going. Yep, taking out another one. And yes, we've got a five, so we've managed to take out all of those aliens, uh, which came out well. Well, I'm sad to see Gorman's dead, but, you know, that was pretty spectacular. So we go back to the next uh, turn after we've done some motion tracker cards. So the first one is going to be for who was Gorman. Uh, so we've got one at two, exhaust one card for each character within the line of sight of this blip when it spawns. And we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five. So exhausting five cards and one blip at two. And that's three aliens. I'm just going to put it like that for the moment. Uh, and then the next card, this is for Vasquez, I think. And yeah, so it's a two. Um, one blip at two. So we're going to have to put that on number one. And that's just a singular alien. So I'm just going to put him straight on. And then the last one is a four. So a queen's are if a character line is at the end, queen reveal a card. So you have one at four. Reveal a card. It's an event, so we exhaust four cards. And we have four aliens down here. Three up here. Okay, so we're going to activate Vasquez first. She uh, reveals a card. It's an event. Uh, so she gets to recycle a card and draw a card. Okay. Uh, and then we... Um, okay, so that was that. She is going to... That's what attack really. Uh, so she is going to attack uh, this guy 
down here. I'd say she's got line of sight on them now. Um, so it's one card to do that. She needs an eight or less to do this. And she got a six, so that's one of those guys gone. She now needs a seven or less. And she misses. Uh, and then she's going to do a rest action. She's going to have to get some of these cards um, recycled. Okay, so um, Gorman's out. We're going to Frost now. So Frost is going to... One, two, three, four. He's on there. He's going to do a tech test. He got a five. His tech is five. We've opened the outer door. So this could be bad news for Vasquez if she fails some mobility test because she's going to go sucked straight out there. Um, okay, so we're going to activate Ripley next. So she's discarding five cards. And she's going to move. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then she's going to attack the queen. So we roll a dice. We got under our aim, so we move her two spaces. So one, two. So we kind of like moved her over here. And we have to reduce Ripley's aim up by two for this. Okay, we're activating Newt next. Newt is recycling eight cards. Uh, Bishop moves one space towards the uh, towards there. So Drake and Wisbowski haven't activated yet. So uh, Wisbowski is going to move one, two, three over here, and he's going to do an aim action. And Drake is going to do two aim actions. Okay, so now we have to see if we've just sucked out our characters through the airlock. So everyone has to do a defense roll now. So starting with, we're going to go for Frost because he's literally right next to it. So Frost goes first and Frost has got a defense of four. So he needs to get four or less or he's out. Seven. Uh, he's got a body armor. So let's have a quick reveal. We want it to be an equipment or a star. It's a weapon. So we exhaust the body armor. And unfortunately, our good friend Frost has just sucked himself out into orbit. Frost is dead. Vasquez next. She's got a defense of four. And she got a four. So she is fine. Uh, Bishop next, good defense of three, he's fine. Um, we're going to go for Ripley, her defense is currently eight. Seven, so she's fine. We've got uh, Wisbowski, he got a five, his defense is six, so he's fine. Drake, three, so he's fine. And let's just double check whether Newt needs to as well. Yeah, she's got to do one as well. And she got a star, so she's firmly in place. Next, we roll for the aliens, and they basically need to get a four plus. Oh, they're moving two spaces towards the airlock. So this guy, three. He's out. This guy, three. Uh, the queen, two. So she's basically going one. She was, she was there. Where was she? She was there. So uh, one, two. Uh, these two aliens at the top here, two for this guy, and six for the other guy. So the single alien at the top is fine, but this guy's also sucked um, two spaces towards the airlock. Now they get to activate, so not good for Vasquez because she's right next to the queen. Um, oh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, maybe in the back screen for the power load. You can't, can't, can't quite see that from the angle of that. So let's just move these around a little bit. So as we're looking at, we've got a couple of aliens right here. We've got the queen and Vasquez there. So the queen's going to attack first. But Vasquez has got an aim of nine. So she's going to be shooting back. So, exhaust the card. Oh, roll two dice, sorry. So six, she's one damage to the alien queen. Exhaust the card. She got six, so another damage to the alien queen. It's seven or less now. Got four and a two, so yeah, we've done another damage to the alien queen. Out of cards now, so we have to reshuffle the cycle deck. So we need a six or less now, I think. 
Got two twos. Need five or less now. Two and a four. And then we need a four or less. If we've done this, this is basically game over time. Two, we've done it. The queen is totally incapacitated. So um, we've got a potential of just pushing her out of the airlock at this start of the next turn. However, Vasquez has now been attacked by this guy behind. She gets to do an aim action before the attack, so she's now at um, four. And she got a seven and a six, so unfortunately she didn't do that. Now she's going to be uh, attacked by this. Her defense is currently four, but there's three aliens here, so she needs a one or less, or she is knocked over. She's got a nine. She's going to use her body armor, so let's have a quick look. It's a hazard, so nothing happens here. Um, so, unfortunately, she's knocked over. Okay, so Ripley's next. The first one is attacking. Uh, she just has to get under her defense of eight. She's got five, so she's fine. Second one is attacking. She's got a four, uh, and there's two, alien there's two aliens in there, so... Uh, that's actually a six, so she is fine. And now we do motion tracker. So uh, for our first character, we have a false alarm. We get the recycler card. Our second character, uh, blip at spawn point two, which is going to be three aliens. And the final card is uh, placement sheet to either exhaust eight cards or discard a shield lamp or flare. We've got that, so... The flare is coming off of Wibowski, placing two at one. Which is one and two, respectively. Oh, it's a shame they're not down near the airlock, though. But hey. Okay, there we go. Just about fit everything on the board. Okay, so uh, it's Ripley. We're going to start off with Ripley. So she's exhausting five cards because she's crazy. Uh, she's going to move one, two, three, one, and then she's going to attack the queen. If we can do this, we've killed the queen in this turn because we can push her one, two, which means she's dead. We might also kill Bishop that way. Uh, we'll see. But we have to basically attack her now. So we need seven or less. Of course, we get a ten. So we miss miserably. And that's the end of Ripley's go there. Unless there's any way we can reroll. She can reroll defense rolls. Yeah, unfortunately, that is that's all we can do there. Um, however, we do have an event which we've not used, which is do it fast. Choose another character. That character immediately takes another action. This was in Gorman's hand, so we're going to uh, exhaust two cards to do this, uh, and she's going to have another chance to attack. So we need seven, uh, six or less. A ten again. Beautiful. So we fail again. Never mind. Um, so we're now going to activate um, Drake, I think. And Drake is just going to do two aim actions. Um, Wisbowski is going to do two aim actions. And Newt is going to recycle eight cards. Uh, Bishop's not activated yet, so he moves one space towards the airlock uh, control. So he can close it once the alien the queen's gone. So first of all, we've got to roll defenses. So start with Bishop. Let's see if he gets sucked out. He got a three, he's fine. Vasquez. Eight. She moves two spaces. Vasquez is out. Ripley. Got a two, she's fine. Wisbowski. Eight, he moves forward two spaces. Drake. Four, he's fine. And Newt. Star, she's fine. Right. Alien Queen, I'm going to roll this first. Hopefully, this is less than four. It's a six, of course it is. That alien over there. Three, they're sucked out into the void. This alien behind the queen there, got a three, so they move forward two spaces. This alien up here, five, they're fine. And up there, two, so they move forward two spaces. Oh, this is such a, such a fiddly game sometimes. Okay, and those guys are fine. Right, so the aliens activate now. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. I want to, so these guys can come around and um, yeah, that's where it's currently at, isn't it? Okay, cool. So it's pretty much a massacre here, I reckon. Uh, so let's go with uh, this alien against Drake. So Drake is going to be using two cards to attack. Go five and a 10, he kills this one, no problem. Um, this one against Ripley, she needs to get under her defense value. She got star, so that means she kills this alien. This guy over here, three under her melee, so she kills this alien. And these guys here, a star, so we've killed these aliens as well. Good old power loader. And the alien queen, she was damaged, so she doesn't do anything this round. Motion trackers now, so our first one is, uh, we place one and three, and uh, that is a two. Uh, we get the next card, uh, which is, we place one and three, place on either card, one barricade in play, or place a second blip at spawn point one. So um, we get a blip at uh, three it was, so it's one alien. And then we have to place another blip at spawn point one. Which is, which is a one, that's not too bad. So he's over there. And then our final card is uh, Overwhelming Horde. Each character line of sight of one of my aliens must discard one card. Oof, that's a few cards we're discarding there. And we've got two or three. And let's have a look. So we've got um, a two and a one. And I've got to discard two, three, four cards. Oof. Okay, so um, Ripley's kicking us off then. So we're exhausting five cards. One, two, three, four, five. She gets three attempts at this. So First, she's got seven or less to do this. Five, we move it two spaces. One, two, the alien queen is dead. Long live the new queen. Um, cool, so she's then going to um, move one, two, three. And she's gonna try and attack this person. Her aim is now five. She's got a star, so she kills this cat and she gets to have another attack, but there's nothing to attack, so that's all good. Um, we're now going to she's now going to activate Newt, who's going to recycle uh, ten cards because she's in uh, with ten spaces. Oh, sorry, <laughs> she's within four spaces. Um, Drake is going to do um, two aim actions. Wisbowski is going to move and do an aim action. This his aim is now six. And Bishop is going to, what's he going to do? He's going to attempt to close the airlock doors. And his tech is seven, so he does it. So he closes the airlock doors. Well done. I kind of wanted them to be open though, Bishop, because then we could have killed all these aliens fairly easily. Um, right, so all the aliens move six spaces towards the nearest character. Uh, we've done it at this point, guys. One, two, three, four, five. Um, they've got to stop at Bishop, so I guess... They can try to move over the airlock doors. But we're going to get one, two, three, four, five, six. So I think they're smarter than that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, and this alien's attacking Ripley. She's got a five, so she has defended against that. We have no motion tracker cards now because these all these spawn points are 
effectively no longer in effect because the alien queen is gone. So you just have to get through these guys. So starting with Ripley, um, we're going to be exhausting five cards. She's got seven or less. She got to seven, so she kills this alien. Um, she's then going to uh, move one, two, three, and she needs five or less now. She's got a nine, so she misses. Um, Newt is going to recycle eight cards. Um, the other guys are going to do two M actions. And I guess Bishop's going to try and close the door again, and he does. So the doors are completely closed now. Health and safety has been um, has been adhered to. So the aliens now come for Ripley. So they can actually run across this now. So we're looking at this because they're all going to be trying to have a have a go at Ripley here. So um, first one over here attacks. So four. So Ripley kills that character. These guys attack. A three, so yep, that adds a plus two to her defense roll because there's two tokens under there. So actually, she's just managed to not kill those. This guy, a seven, so um, yeah, fine. And that guy, a six, so there's no problems there. Um, on to my activation now. So exhausting five cards for Ripley. Ripley's now attacking. She needs to get seven or less. She's got a five. So she kills all these guys over here. She now needs a five or less. She's got a ten, so she misses. And now she needs a three or less. She's got a nine, so uh, nothing else there. Uh, Wisbowski and Drake can't really do much from where they are, so this is going to stay there. And Newt, of course, is going to recycle her cards. And we're basically just doing this until... I've killed them all, right? They're kind of just egging Ripley on from the corner. So these two aliens, they're going to attack her. She needs eight or less. She's got a star, so she kills this guy. And the last one attacks. She's got a four. She has killed it. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of my Aliens Get Away From You Bitch Another Glorious Day in the Corpse Ultimate Badasses playthrough. We have managed to kill the Alien Queen. We have managed to kill all the aliens on board and get most of the people safely uh, back on board. Um, unfortunately, of course, we've lost some people along the way. Rest in peace, Apone. Rest in peace, Vasquez. Rest in peace, Frost. Rest in peace, Hudson. Rest in peace, Hicks. Rest in peace, Apone. But overall, not too bad. Well, that's it. I've done it. I've managed to defeat the Queen. I've managed to get all the, uh, all the Marines that I cared about, uh, dead, pretty much. Wizbowski, Drake, who cares about those guys? Where's Vasquez? Was Frost, Apone, Hicks, Hudson. Gorman, I'm not too bothered about. I mean, he deserves to die. But um, but yeah, unfortunately, um, I lost some good people along the way. But I've managed to uh, finish this game. I'm fairly certain I probably made some mistakes there. But I enjoyed playing it. Uh, it did kind of feel a bit of a war of attrition in the end. Where I was just beating up the aliens with my power loader. Whilst the guys protected Newt in the background. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, overall... I've really enjoyed playing this game. It's been great fun. It has really, um, really captured the film, I think. Um, and I've got a lot of games which are based on the Alien franchise. Nemesis, Lifeform, uh, the Aliens Deck Builder, which is over here somewhere. Um, and I've got some other games here and there dotted around, uh, which because I, I, love, I love the films. So um, it was really fun to play a miniature-based game based on the second film. Um, which, yeah, which this did exceptionally well. So stay tuned to our channel because I will be doing a review. Like I do all of my solo playthroughs, I do a review at the end of how I felt it was overall. Um, and because I've just come off the back of this, I'm pretty excited and heads up. So that's what probably was. I'm just waffling at this moment. Anyway, thank you for watching this. If I made mistakes, please let me know in the comments below because anyone else who's playing this game might look at this video and go, oh, this is how you play this level. And if I've got it wrong, let's tell these people. Um... But yes, please like us on our various different social medias if you've enjoyed this content. Um, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and uh, YouTube. Um, and if there's any vi uh, any videos you'd like of some games done solo, 
then let me know and I will probably queue that up into the uh, into the not too distant future. Um, we're going to be playing some fun zombie side, Night of the Living Dead, in the not too distant future as well. So stay tuned if you're into zombie films uh, and we'll see how well that has kind of adapted uh, into board game format. Um, Cine Tempur is probably one of the next things I'll be doing as well. And we are going to be returning back to Jagged Alliance in the not too distant future. So if you uh, have missed those Jagged, Jagged Alliance videos, go check them out. Or just wait for the new one to come out where um, we'll be going up against some aliens. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much if you've managed to watch all of these videos. Um, I really appreciate you spending time to watch these. Comment. Um, I love talking to you guys. So uh, yeah, thanks for that. Uh, and that's about it for me. So until next time, guys, please stay safe and keep rolling.